the door open. A squirrel must have gotten in and chewed up my box of candy hearts. That squirrel made a mess everywhere. I'm so mad at Luca for leaving the little door open. This mess is all his fault. I'm not going to invite Luca to my party anymore. There are candy hearts everywhere. Be mine, sweetheart. Love you. I should change these to read mad. Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Poppy. Who? Who? Let a squirrel in, did you? Hi, Ollie. Luca is the one who left the door open. Now everything is messed up. We all make mistakes. It's true. Jesus teaches there's something we can do. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Ollie's got a Bible story for me and you. Hola, friends. It's good to see you. My name is Luis, the handyman. <laughs> I was just fixing this box for my nephew. He collected so many candy hearts that the lid broke off. Oh. But look at this. Look what's on the inside of the lid. It 
says, Jesus loves you. Yes, he does. Jesus loves you and you and you. Which reminds me of our story today. Do you want to help me build it? Oh, great. Let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer. Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Okay, so today's true story from the Bible begins with Jesus. One day, an important teacher invited Jesus to his house for dinner. Many people came to the dinner, and they were around the table with Jesus, eating and talking. Then, a woman who was not invited walked in, carrying a bottle of perfume. This woman had made a lot of wrong choices, so the important teacher did not think she should be at the dinner. But she had heard that Jesus was going to be there. She knew Jesus loved her, and she wanted to see him. The woman went to Jesus and started crying. <laughs> she was crying because she knew Jesus loved her no matter what. The woman was so thankful that Jesus loved her that she wanted to do something special for him. So she washed Jesus' feet with her tears and dried them with her hair. She poured a special perfume on his feet because she loved Jesus so much and was so thankful for him. The important teacher was so surprised. He thought Jesus should stay away from the woman. He said, Jesus, you don't know what she's done. But Jesus did know everything the woman had done. And he knew how sorry she was. He could see how much the woman loved him. So Jesus smiled at her and said, Woman, you are forgiven. Now go in peace. Jesus forgave the woman for the bad choices she'd made. And he loved her anyway. Jesus loves you no matter what too. There is absolutely nothing you could ever do to make Jesus stop loving you. Jesus loves you and he wants to be your friend forever. Hey there, Ali. Tell me, who loves you? Jesus loves me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who loves you? Jesus loves me. That's the truth, friends. Adios. So there's your story. And it's all true. Jesus loved the woman no matter what. And Jesus loves you and me too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Ooh. Wow, Jesus forgave the woman even though she had done wrong things. Jesus loved her no matter what. Jesus loves and forgives us too, no matter what. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! Jesus loves and forgives me, so I can love and forgive others too. Even though I am mad about the mess, I love Luca and I forgive him. And I definitely want him at the hearts party. See you next time. Bye! How wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ. Ephesians 3.18 How wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ. Ephesians 3.18